With the crisis occurring with the caravan in Tijuana, people are still finding a way to keep their spirits alive. Communication and safety is one of the main concerns students have with on-campus police. Hundreds of animals have suffered from the natural disasters occurring in Ventura County. Now that this law will take action in 2019, street vendors will be able to make their living with pride. With a variety of blended drinks, coffee, homemade fudge, and candy, Dr. Conkey's is one of Southern California's iconic sweet spots. This is a sound that brings joy to many people, but to others, it's a sound that's part of simply making ends meet. The Los Angeles streets have always been filled with street vendor culture. Now, Governor Jerry Brown signed the Safe Sidewalk Vending Act. It's a state law granting permits legalizing street vending. Rick Coca is a spokesperson for council member Jose Huizar. They're not going to get their equipment confiscated. The public knows what they're eating is safe because it's gone through county health and has that, you know, verification. Um, and so it, it's a win-win for everybody. Rosalia has been street vending for four years. She says she's blessed to finally be able to earn an income without the police taking away her merchandise. We will work with more tranquility, more responsibility, but it will be better for us. John has owned King of Juice for 18 years. He says the new law will hurt his business. It's going to make it easier for them to sell. The city's going to make money, but I'm the one that's going to be hurt because I'm going to have less customers coming to me. I'm going to be paying the same bills, and it's not helping me at all. Meanwhile, Elsie also makes her living selling fruit. All your life you have to run with fear because they throw your product away. You have to keep watch and you're never calm. Now that this law will take action in 2019, street vendors will be able to make their living with pride. I'm Lonnie Sagasume in Los Angeles for Valley View News. As time passes, the days get longer for the migrants of Honduras and Guatemala. But at Deportivo Juarez caravan site, the tired and restless have found a way to distract themselves from the difficult time they are currently facing. We go out around the block to see if the truck that gives free stuff is there. And sometimes we might find some pants or a t-shirt. Of course, it's a difficult time here. A local church group called Unidad has volunteered to show their support and share the word of God with the kids. We tell them stories from the Bible, and we narrate them in a sketch form. That way, the kids are able to participate and express themselves with the message we are teaching. From soccer to karaoke to playing cards, staying optimistic is the biggest factor for some. Well, I just say positive things to, to myself, you know. Sophia, director of the Curacao Foundation, who has 30 years of experience on the issue of immigration, believes the migrants from the caravan see the United States as a prosperous nation. People see us as the leaders of the free world, and they drive that hope in their strength based on the notion that they feel that the United States will open their, up their arms like they did for other immigrants. With the crisis occurring with the caravan in Tijuana, people are still finding a way to keep their spirits alive. I'm Londi Sagastume in Tijuana for Valley View News. The smell is unforgettable. The sweet aroma of chocolate and fudge fill Dr. Conkey's candy and coffee shop. It's a happy place to come. The music's incredible, everybody's very friendly, and it starts the day off just right. By mid-morning, the line is already out the door. Children of all ages are excited looking at the brightly colored boxes and jars of sweets. Besides the candy, customers beg for more of the shop's custom blended drinks. They have this chai tea latte over there. It's so good. It's like this, this frozen little mix. It's so nice. It tastes delicious. I'm in love with it. Dr. Conkey's has been around since 1986. Customers say the store is a staple of the community. We've been here since 1962, 
So when this door opened, it was um, it was really important to us. It it, it has sugar-free candy because my husband's diabetic, which is really great. With a variety of blended drinks, coffee, homemade fudge, and candy, Dr. Conkey's is one of Southern California's iconic sweet spots. I'm Londi Sagastume in Simi Valley for Valley View News.